How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your Elgato Game Capture HD 60S Plus with your PlayStation 5. And you can even follow along with this tutorial with the HD 60S. Both of these capture cards are very similar in nature and the setup process is almost identical. But before we get started, let's make sure you have everything you're going to need. <clears throat> oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm good. You'll need your capture card, so that can be the HD60S Plus or the HD60S. You'll also need the contents that came in the box with it, so the Super Speed USB to USB C cable and two HDMI cables. One of those HDMI cables already came in the box with your capture card, but the other one came with your console. Speaking of the console, you're going to need the PlayStation 5, and the last required thing you're going to need is a computer. In the case you're not sure which computers or laptops would work best for running the Elgato equipment and software, I left the list in the description below. Go check out those computers and compare them with what you already have or what you're interested in. I'd also recommend having a dedicated graphics card versus an integrated one with your processor in addition to having at least eight gigabytes of RAM, maybe even 16 to be honest. So yeah, go check out those computer recommendations down below. Next, how about if you want to add a little extra things to make your recording and streams even better? Well, you could go with the solid USB microphone like the Blue Snowball, the Blue Yeti, and now my new favorite, the Elgato Wave microphone. It is great to integrate with your recording and streaming setup. You can also add a USB webcam or the CamLink adapter for DSLR cameras if you want to use a DSLR camera for your webcam. And then for the people who have gaming headsets and like to chat with their team and have their audio go through their headphones from the controller, then you're gonna wanna pick up the Elgato Chatlink cable. And that will allow you to record the gameplay audio and chat audio that come through your controller. Now there's one more thing we're gonna to have to do before we set up the Elgato HD60S Plus. And it's the same thing we had to do on the PlayStation 4, and that's disable HDCP. I know, super annoying. I can't believe they still have this feature on the PS5, but they do. So you're going to have to turn that off by going up to your settings, then scrolling down to system, then you'll see HDMI, and within that section, you can disable HDCP. You'll have to do this step first because if you don't and you connect everything, you're just gonna have a black screen. I don't want you to have a black screen. Now that you've done that, let me show you how to put the capture card together. Go ahead and take your first HDMI cable, Plug that into the HDMI in slot. The other end of that HDMI cable will go into the PlayStation 5. Now I'll go ahead and take the second HDMI cable, plug that into the HDMI out slot, and the other end of that HDMI cable will go into your television. Make sure you remember which HDMI slot you put your cable into because you'll need to change your input on your TV to that slot number. After that, you can take the super speed USB-A to USB-C cable, Plug the small end of that cable, the USB-C end, into the Elgato capture card, and then the other end of that cable will go into your computer. Once you've done that, go ahead and download the required software and drivers for the Elgato capture card. So if you're on Windows, you're going to want to download the 4K utility tool, and if you're on macOS, go ahead and download the Elgato game capture software. At this point, you're ready to pull in your video feed now that you have your USB connected to the computer. Go ahead and launch Delgado software for whichever computer you're using. Make sure you have the correct device selected and you should be able to see a picture. If you're looking to stream or do more custom recordings off of the Elgato capture card, then you can use something like OBS or Streamlabs OBS to pull in that gameplay feed. All you'll need to do within one of your scenes is go ahead and add a source and select video capture device. And within there, you can name it whatever you would like and then just select the Elgato HD60S Plus capture card. It's literally as simple as that for both Windows and Mac on OBS or Streamlabs OBS if you're using the Elgato HD60S Plus. Now, if you're using the other capture card, the HD60S on a Mac, it's gonna be a little bit different. I left a video linked in the card that you can go check out. That'll show you how to connect the HD60S with OBS in great detail. Now let's say you wanna add your face cam so you can increase that engagement with your stream or your video. The steps are pretty similar. Just go ahead and add another source, do another video capture device, name it whatever you'd like, and then just select your webcam. 
Make sure that you have that webcam scene above your gameplay scene so that way it'll be layered on top and you'll be able to adjust it, resize it any which way you'd like. Now how about that audio? I made this part its own section in this video so that you guys get your PlayStation 5 gameplay audio and chat audio to come through for your gameplay recordings and streams. I wanna make sure that this is done right. So the first question is, how are you normally listening to your audio? If you've never used capture cards, I'd imagine you're probably using the audio through the controller. You'll wanna pick up the Elgato chat link cable that I mentioned earlier in this video. That cable will plug into the analog slot on your capture card, and then the other end of that cable will go into your controller. The other slot attached to the cable, you'll wanna plug your headphones into. Now you should still be able to hear your gameplay audio and chat, as well as the microphone being functional through the headset. But now for the capture card to accept that audio coming from the PlayStation 5 controller, you're gonna to need to configure that in your settings. In the 4K utility tool, you're gonna to wanna to go to your settings, go to the device tab, then select analog for the input instead of HDMI. If you're on macOS, go to your capture settings and then select with analog audio. After you do that, you will get your game audio and your party chat audio, as long as you have your party chat audio on the system, select it to go through your controller as well. Make sure all your audio is going through the controller. Everything will be recorded. The changes that you just made within those Elgato programs, those will be reflected in OBS, in Streamlabs OBS, so that you should still get the audio to come through. And just for good measure, you can double check your sound audio output by tapping the PlayStation Home button on the controller and then scrolling over to sound. And within there, you can scroll up to the top and you'll see where your audio is going. So whether that be to your headset or to the TV. Now hear me out on this, guys. I've been using these capture cards for quite some time. And for me, I like to go with the HDMI TV output option. You'll have full control of all the audio outputs for your stream. If I wanna to listen to desktop audio, I can listen to desktop audio. If I wanna to listen to Spotify, I can listen to Spotify all while I'm streaming, all having it recorded at the same time. This is where the Wave 3 microphone I have is just golden because of all the different mixing audio features that I have available to me. But if you don't have that, you can still use the mixer within OBS. You can go to your advanced audio settings and do monitor and output for your Elgato gameplay audio. Just make sure within whatever Elgato software that you have on your computer that you deselect analog. Make sure you're just doing this over HDMI. Same with your PlayStation settings. Make sure you have HDMI TV selected. You probably asked the question, well, how are you gonna chat with people if you don't have a headset with the microphone and all that stuff? Well, guys, I have a second USB microphone that I use so that I can talk to people through the PS5. And then I have a main commentary microphone that's connected to my computer so that you guys hear a good commentary voice. You can check to see if the microphone you have connected to the PS5 is working by tapping the PlayStation Home button, then scrolling over to the microphone icon. And then if you go to look at the top option, this is where you'll see if you're using a headset microphone, a USB microphone, and even the wireless controller microphone, which I highly advise against because if you are using the wireless controller microphone, then your party audio will go through the speaker of the wireless controller and you don't want that. You'll also want to double check the mute setting to make sure that your party can hear you. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel with the post notifications on if you're new around here. Of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to put it in the comment section below. Or if you want to get a more direct response, feel free to hit me up on my socials, all linked below as well, Twitter, Instagram, Discord. You can find me there and I can try to get back to you. I know working with this technology right off the bat isn't the easiest thing to understand. So I did make other videos around this topic on this channel that you can check out on screen right now. One for Streamlabs OBS and there's another for my complete editing and then setup guide for the HD60S Plus where I get really deep with how these Elgato software tools are used in conjunction with OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Definitely check out my tutorials playlist as I have a lot of information covered in there. But that's it for me guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.